to Sparkling Box Shows. Today, I'll be reviewing my entry to Lego Base Contest, Zone Hermes. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so, first we have the layer. So we're gonna be showing references and also how to build, kind of using Lego Base's style of reviewing. So, we have, first, if you take this kind of pattern out of these, right, and this, and probably just one empty spot for this, but you just have a rubber band and you can color them all of them, right, this is used for like attack absorption, so if you're making this left spin, it will just be a left spinner, then this can also be used for spin steel, but it's obviously not going to work that much. It's just there to like absorb attack. <laughs> and so yeah. Then you have this blue blade, right? You can put it at the bottom or on the top. I'll put it over here on the top. Then you just have the regular white ones. Boom. Boom. And just like that. There you go. And then look up um, four quarters. I wrap it in tape. The tape is a bit overlapping, but that actually helps it like grip down. So basically, the tape is there so it does so the quarters don't move. It's floating the entire day, and they're also just there for like extra support, right? So let's see. It also actually kind of like sticks in. It, it used to stick in, that is. Now it doesn't, it kind of like rubs on this so it doesn't like create friction, it doesn't spin. See, that stops that problem. It doesn't move as much, so it won't blow up. Then you have the layer top, it's pretty simple. You have a two by two golden circle piece with a four by four, and a 4x4 rounded clear part with a 2x2 gap to put this obviously. Then you just have 2x2 center studs and 2x1 center studs all around, right? And boom. Put on. And that's the layer. The layer is pretty heavy. Then you have the weight and frame, which is expand. And and I'll show you how to make that right now. It basically just consists of two of these half, uh, this three, this six by three, half, right, two of them to put together like this. With this right over here, it's by two circle, right? And here is, you then need to add these little parts over here. Basically put this over here. I couldn't find any more of these, so I'm using an unofficial part, right? But that doesn't do anything, doesn't affect the performance, it's just the same as part as this. This is a real Lego part, by the way. So, you basically just need uh, two square um, two square plates and two square tiles stacking on top of each other, on top of each other and then there you go. Then do the exact same thing but with circles instead. There you go, you have this. Then you have like the frame kind of part, right? Which is expand. Right, what's over here? The frame is built into the weight. So the frame is definitely not removable because that's what the frame kind of holds in the weight, right? If you haven't, if you don't know what these part, like our weight supports, right? So that's most of it done. So now, the actual weight itself consists of six dimes. See? You put one over here, right? One over here. There's no specific pattern, right? You put them like, I mean, and penny, pennies don't fit in here. I have actually tried like 10, I think. I think it was like 10 that I was using. I was using, I think 10, right? For the original weight. I put it over here, that would like make a weak connection between the layer. So yeah, this is the weight. Expand. 
and then wait for him to expand. And now hang on to the driver. The driver is pretty easy. It is assault. So basically just two um just two by two square the two by two circle and uh stud. That's that's all it is. And now time to assemble the bay. Assembling is pretty easy, you can take the weight and the layer, put them on top of each other. There you go. And uh, let's put the driver on. There you go. So that was my review for my entry to Mother Day's contest. I hope you enjoyed it. And may the best day win. Fucking Productions, art.